That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Stinger Transition Pack 2. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So yes, it is finally time for the Stinger Transition Pack 2. Two. A lot of people have been asking for more packs and more stinger transitions. They have been the best performing videos on my channels, the pack videos. The webcam border pack one has reached like 70,000 views now. The webcam border pack two is doing well. The stinger transition one pack is doing really well. And now it is time for another pack of stinger transitions for you guys. We've got four incredible stinger transitions that you can download down in the description. Right now, you can download the After Effects project, jump in here, add in your logo, change some colors, and make the stinger transitions look how however you want. You can just look at them and figure out how I animated them and make something of your own, or you can just go in there and make the tiny edits that I have provided for you and have your own stinger transition really snappy and really quick. So without further ado, we are going to jump inside of After Effects. But first, I just wanted to say that don't forget to head on over to my Twitch channel. I try to stream as much as possible over there and play a lot of games like Fall Guys, Fortnite, and sometimes we edit stuff and create things in After Effects. So if you're not subscribed on Twitch, head on over there. And then also, if you guys do not have After Effects and you still want to create some awesome overlays for your Twitch channel, make sure you check out my affiliate link for placeit.net down in the description. You can click on that and right now get 15% off a monthly or yearly subscription to Placeit and you can create incredible custom graphics for your Twitch channel without owning any programs, without owning After Effects or anything, all built in with their smart templates. So check that out. But now let's jump into After Effects and take a look at this template. All right, guys, so here we are inside of the template. When you open it up, you're going to see that we have tons of compositions here. We've got line stinger and then the line stinger edits. We've got simple stinger, simple stinger edits, electric stinger, electric stinger edits, box stinger. There's no edits for that because it's super simple. And then you're the your logo here tab as per usual. So let's take a look at these stingers. The line stinger is one of the coolest ones we have in here. It is some awesome lines that come across the screen. Sorry if it gets a little blurry and is a little glitchy. It's kind of hard for after effects to render these stinger transitions with how much is going on but there you go that is what this one looks like it is a really cool stinger and probably one of my favorite ones that i've ever created and if you want to change some colors or anything on this it is super easy you just head over into the line stinger edits and as you can see you've got all these rectangles that are coming in on the screen and when you click on them and go up to effects controls you'll see that you've got the fill tools that you can just fill in the colors to be whatever you want you can change these color colors up to be a, a green if you want and you change all of them and then you've got a green stinger instead of a red stinger or you can change two of them and you can have like a uh a varying color look like that. So you can just change a couple of them and you don't have to have all the same color. You can have four different colors, whatever you want. It is super easy. And then you come back in here into the line stinger and you've got these lines here. These are the white lines and you can just change these white lines to be whatever you want. If you want them to be light blue, change them to be light blue and it is that easy. So once you've done that, it is time to place in your logo and this will be the same for every single stinger no matter which one you want to download here. If you want to place in your logo, all you need to do is go over to the your logo here tab click on that and as you'll see there is a fake logo that's just a filler in here and to place in your logo you just want to delete this one or hide it and then you just want to import your logo and then just place it inside of this box make sure you scale it around to make sure it properly fits inside of this box and then when you go back to the line stinger or go back to whatever stinger you want it is going to be updated automatically for you really simple so you've got your logo in there you've got your colors changed in the back super easy that is the line stinger done now we have the simple stinger the simple Simple stinger looks like this. It is a really fast stinger and it kind of resembles Fresh, uh, Mr. Fresh Asian stinger a little bit, or maybe his old stinger. I don't know. I haven't seen what he is doing in a while, but as you can see, it is really quick and it is a nice, fast, simple stinger. Same thing, you can change your logo super easy just by going over to the Your Logo Here tab and just uh, putting in your logo there and it auto updates. Then to edit the colors here, you've got the gradient ramp right down here where you can change that ramp that's going on the back right now. We've got kind of a gray to white, but then if you wanna change these greens to something else, you go to the simple stinger edits and as you can see, you've got these green bars here. When you click on the colors up in the effects controls, you've got the colors that you can change right there. And a lot of people 
comment if you do not see effects controls in After Effects. Make sure you go up to Window and then come down here to Effects. Uh, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it? Effects controls right there. You'll see Effects controls inside of the Window drop down just like that. You can click on that and it'll pop up and you can put it over here or wherever you want on your screen. But here's where you change the colors for the green bars. And then when you come back, you've got your logo in there. You've got your green bars changed. You've got your gradient in the background changed. And it is time to export for that one. Then on to the electric stinger. This one is really cool. This one utilizes Saber. And as you can see, there's quite a bit going on. So it might take a minute to uh, render all the way through this one. But we've got this crazy meshing of some cool shapes going on with the st uh, the Saber layers in the background. And then you got the logo that comes in. And then the stinger finally fades out and then drops down to reveal your next scene. So let's go ahead and play this all the way through. As you can see, this one looks awesome with the saber in the background. This one has got a lot of stuff you can change. So if we go into the electric stinger edits, you're going to see you've got color three here. This is what it's going to fade to at the end. So this color right here, you can change it to be whatever you want. You've got color one and color two down here. This is at the beginning of these little boxes. So the light gray right here on these three and the dark gray on these three. That is where you change those colors are on color one and color two. And then you'll see you've got three saber layers. These saber layers are obviously the ones that you see right here going through and you can change all the saber settings, whatever you want. If you don't want it to be velocity, if you want it to be ghost and you want to change the colors to a bright orange, you go ahead and do that. Change it to be whatever you want. And as you can see, it looks incredible no matter what you do. I'm going to go ahead and command Z it back to that. And there you go. You can change the saber. You can change the color. You put your logo in the your logo here tab as per usual. And then it is time to export the electric stinger. And then finally, we've got a super simple, super easy stinger. And it is called the box stinger. And it doesn't involve a logo. It doesn't really involve any kind of special graphics. It is just a very fast transition that you can use inside of OBS. If you just want to have a little pop of color pop in when you switch between scenes and you don't want a full blown stinger transition, I really like this. It is just a very fast way to switch between scenes. And I love the idea of having something pop up on screen that you don't really know what it is quite yet. And then it shows off that it's the stinger really quickly. So it pops up as a box and you're like, what's the box? And then it whoo, and it becomes the stinger. I think that is a really cool style. And then obviously, as per usual, you can click on the purple solid down here. There's two, and only one of them will have the effects controls with the fill right here that you can change this purple to be whatever color you want. Match your stream colors however you want. I'm going to take it back to purple because that is how it's going to be in the template when you get it. But that is how you edit every single one of these stingers. And when it is time to export, when you've changed the logo, you've changed the colors, you made any kind of edits you want, it is time to export, and it is super easy easy. So as you can see, we've actually added the in and out points for all of them here. They are already set for you. So you don't need to add any kind of in and out points. They're perfectly set. And what you want to do is you just want to make sure you're selecting on the correct composition. So not in the edits ones, just in the actual simple stinger or line stinger. And then when you go to export, you want to go up to composition and then add to render queue. Once you've added it to the render queue, you want to come down here to lossless and change this format from AVI to QuickTime and then the channels from RGB to RGB plus alpha. Alpha. That step is crucial because that RGB plus alpha means there's going to be a transparent background. There's not going to be a black background. It's just going to be an alpha channel, transparent, and that is what you need for a stinger transition. You need it to go over your stream, over your footage, so you need the transparent background. So QuickTime, RGB plus alpha, hit OK, and then right over here where it says output to line stinger, you can click on that in blue, and that's where you name it whatever you want, save it wherever you want, and then you hit render over here, and you are done. Once you are done doing that, I highly suggest maybe looking into WebM formats. If you're going to be using stingers, convert it to WebM, or you can export directly out of After Effects WebM if you download the plugin, but look into WebM if you're exporting stingers, or you can just use it directly out of After Effects like this as an MOV or as a quick time file, but that is pretty much it. Go out there and get yourself a, a free stinger from the links in the description. All right, guys, and that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'm finally glad I can release Stinger Transition Pack 2. I plan on doing a lot more packs in the future. Like I said, we've got the Webcam Border Pack, Webcam Border Pack 2, Stinger Transition Pack. Now we've got Stinger Transition Pack 2. We've also got an Alert Pack, and I want to create all kinds of packs so you guys can just, whenever you want to rebrand your stream, you just come and click on all the pack videos and just pick one out from every single pack video, and bam, you've got a completely redesigned st stream without really any work. But once again, make sure you check out my Twitch channel. I try to stream as much as possible, twitch.tv forward slash gravitym, and I will see you guys in the next video.